Well, howdy diddly dandy there, Chums, tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, Chums, for you guys in the Viewerverse, I've got some news. Yes, some news over on the No Man's Sky website, so I'm going to be hitting that up. Executor Mondo! Right oh, so, people in the Viewerverse, yes, over on the No Man's Sky website, there's been an endurance development update. Now, that doesn't mean something new is coming into the verse, apart from a few more bases that have been featured inside of the Nexus that we can go and have a little butchers around. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to be covering this off. So here comes the news article. So yes, this dropped a little bit out of the blue, but something that I find interesting is the August the 26th date. So you may have seen quite a lot of sponsored videos from content creators that you know and love on YouTube, putting out ad videos that have been sponsored by Hello Games. Well, that sort of promotion ends on the 26th, so I was half expecting maybe a trailer or something to drop, but this is what's dropped. It's a news article page, and it's a thank you to the community, and there's three new bases for us to tour inside of the verse. Heck yes. Right, so the way you access these bases is up inside this base anomaly, and on the sidebar over here you're going to have featured bases. Hopefully if your discovery servers are up and running you can access these. This one is the Twelve Towers Castle by Mr. Pishhead. <gasps> oh, nicely done. Boom. Straight through the profanity filter, love it. Built in normal mode, what an awesome base. This one is the refueling station Helios 42. I love the way you've used Helios in there. and I. Don't think I can pronounce your name. Geron Teji 89's base, but nice. And then we've got this one here, the Perfect Perk Coffee. Yes, by Sparkle Rain. Very cool. And that one's always oh, in Eisentam. Very nice. Yeah, built in creative mode. Cool. Well, I will go visit all three of these bases, people, but I'm going to do that right at the very end of the video, just in case you don't want it spoiled and you want to go look at them yourselves. So stick to the end. Right, no jump. So next up in the news, we've got some grass. Some grass is unlocked in community research. Where do you do the community research? It's hitting up the quicksilvery type missions inside of the actual space anomaly that you access from the Nexus, and then you get your rewards once you've got your quicksilver over at this chap. I call him Johnny Five because his, his real name is the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion, which is a bit of a mouthful. And as you can see there, the tall spike grass, you can go and buy that up. I think it was about 500 quicksilver or 300 quicksilver, one or the other. Anyhow, it's not all that much, and I've done a video on this. If you want to see that video on placement and recolouring grass, I put a video in the top right hand corner. Be sure to check that out. Okay, so what do we have other than grass? Well, we've got quite a lot of other stuff from inside of the community and verse and creativity. You guys out there are freaking amazing. Heck yes, you are. Look at all this lovely art that's been hammered in. Yeah, very cool. That one, I didn't know if it was an in-game screenshot, but no, apparently it's watercolour or something. Who knows? But yes, and somebody's been quite creative with that sort of like gaseous pod type looking thing. Very cool. Very nice. Brilliant, and there's quite a lot of images. You see a lot of images being shared out by Sean of the Murrays over on the Twitter space. Oh, and look at this. We're also aware that a number of fans are organising a meetup at the Free Pigeons in Guildford on Sunday, August the 28th at 7pm. That's, that's me and, and a few others. So yes, when I say a few others, there's going to be some awesome content creators there. There's going to be Nella Doodle, Scottish Rod, Miyogi, Zane, um, Golden Gags going. There's a load of people going. Loads of people from the very first meetup back in 2019. So it's going to be nice to see old familiar faces with inside of the verse and meet new ones. And it's a brilliant place. And yeah, we're going to be doing a raffle. Free to enter raffle with lots of different prizes that you can go and select. And we're, do we're doing a quiz as well. It's going to be a quiz. And apparently it's going to be law based. So swat up people in the view of us. Heck yes. Well, people, this is not an in-game event, even though this looks like a computer game. It's actually Google Earth. Now I've put in the Free Pigeons pub in Guildford, and we're zooming on in. So why? Why are we doing this in real life inside of the Free Pigeons pub in Guildford, you may ask? Well, Hello Games' studio is also in Guildford, and it's just around the corner from the Free Pigeons pub. This is the closest frickin' venue to it, unless you went to TGI Fridays, which is right underneath. But yeah, renting out TGI Fridays is a bit difficult. So we're going to the Free Pigeons pub. I guess we are. And we've got the upstairs. We've got the upstairs from 7 p.m. And that's UK time. Yeah, and they're keeping the kitchens open for an additional hour, so until 8 p.m. So if you get there and you're feeling a bit peckish, make sure you order yourself some food before the actual venue closes down the kitchen. But there we go. There's the Hello Game Studio just around the corner from it. And you can see it's a stone's throw away. No throwing stones, people, if you come. Heck no. <laughs> okay. But it should be a great event. We're going to have a raffle and a quiz and all sorts of other shenanigans. So I hope to see you there. 
So what else is in this news article? <laughs> well, there's a tantalising paragraph at the bottom. Tantalising. And yes, it says, with plenty of new content for No Man's Sky underway and the Nintendo Switch PSVR 2 and Mac OS support updates all coming along. Oh, but it's the and bit that gets me. Yes, all rapidly approaching as well. So that means maybe there's some new content that's rapidly approaching. If you read that word for word, that's what it says. Yes, there's some more content and it's keeping them very busy. Whew. I'm excited, excited for that, excited for the meetup. What a time to be alive. So there you go, people. That's everything news-wise. Isn't that freaking awesome, people in the viewerverse? Heck yeah, sound off in the comments. Well, until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. And for those that are sticking around right now, like I suggested, I'm now going to do tours of each of these bases. Heck yes, I am. So, Mr. Pishhead, what I like about yours is the use of the localised teleporters to navigate your base, and some of the placements inside of your base are really quite nice. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some music, I'm going to go into camera mode, all that sort of shenanigans, but I'm not going to talk too much during these tours, but I urge you guys in the view of us to go do your own sort of look sees around and have a better sort of look, because I'm going to give about three minutes to each of these. Okay, so this is the first base by Mr. Pishhead. Right, well, this one is a refueling station by Gerontage. Sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly, my friend, but it, awesome looking base from the actual thumbnail. I'm loving the sort of curved bits that go up with the lights on and everything. It looks really cool, and the way that you've made it look like it's hovering. It looks, it looks correct. It looks very flying saucer-esque. Can't wait to have a look. It's got a deep space nine vibe to it for some reason to me. Don't know where I'm seeing things, people in the view of us, but sound off in the comments. Let us know what you think.
Okay, so this is Sparkle Rains base. It's a coffee shop, and I really like some of your placements in here. Some of these are awe-inspiring. I love your little plant as well on the sort of mantelpiece and bits and bobs that you've just sprinkled about this place. It makes it feel very homely and welcoming, like a little speak cosy that we've got over here in the UK. It's, yeah, it's a very nice little cosy pub. Yeah, anyway, but this is a coffee house, isn't it? But even so, I would love to visit. Oh, well, people, would you look at this? There seems to be a bite beat here, peeps. Let me just turn up my volume and have a little sort of dance to this. And I'll show you how you can actually save a bite beat tune to your bite beat player. You can actually collect other people's bite beat tunes out there in the viewerverse if you're unaware of this. So it's pretty darn cool. Quite a nice tune. Let's have a listen. And I'll do a little bit of a shutting up session. Then I'll show you how to put this into your menu. Righto, peeps. Here we go. So if you head on over to Bite Beat icon from your quick menu, like I did just then, go to an empty slot, press X, and then you get to free name it. Yeah, so I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Doing a tutorial, pressing the wrong buttons. But here we go. Let's put in the name. I'm just going to call it Sparkle Rain after the actual person who created this. You probably call it Sparkle Rain and Sparkle Rain straight afterwards, though. But, you know, I don't know where it really what to name it. Yes, yeah, quite a lovely little track there, and a nice little bonus for people that come and visit. You can actually collect the bike beat tune. Heck yes, brilliant day. Lovely jobs. There we go, people. I'm going to be ending off now, but there we go. That's the full bass tour. I'm just going to turn this music back down. Anyway, take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. I'd throw revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.